Now this particular um, uh, exercise is uh, sort of similar to uh, your question number four or in fact it is a uh, question number four from um, uh, previous exam, uh, previous midterm. So let's have a look at how that particular thing worked. Uh, I'm going to uh, just run that particular question number four program. So it's saying that this program prints volume of water in a cylinder with radius of three meters for heights ranging from 10 to n meters in increments of two. So the n is not known in this particular case, but we know that we are going to have a table that starts at 10 and goes up to n, which uh, will vary depending on when you run the program and it will be it will go up in increments of two so in, in this particular case let's say I input the value uh, to be um, uh, let's say 31 actually you will see it will not get to 31 it will probably start at 30 uh, so uh, here what it does is it prints this table nicely formatted we have height volume as the header we have a line that goes um, back and forth between the two uh, and then we have 10 that's the height and then the volume is 282.74 12 uh, the volume is 339.29 and so on so the actual question I'll uh, also show you on the whiteboard so you know how the question will look like the formula will always be given to you now in this particular case it's cylinder so you know that it's um, uh, pi r square multiplied by the height um, we know that we know that the radius is 3 and the height is going to change uh, sometimes it could be uh, uh, it, it is possible that the uh, the uh, height could be fixed and radius could change and and so on right but you will always have the formula uh, to work with um, so let's see how we can do this what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a program called um, I'll call it table instead of Q4 now table and um, uh, then I will say volume and cylinder right those are the uh, three things that we have in this particular program so might as well uh, have that kind of name so table volume cylinder dot Java and then now let's start with importing the scanner object because we are going to have uh, that so java.util.scanner there we go uh, then we are going to say hmm, uh, public class uh, then the name of the class it was table I remember that there was the word volume in there and then cylinder open and close brace uh, then uh, I don't know what I did there so let me okay. and then I'm going to say public static void uh, main to let people know that this is where my main program starts string and that open and close braces and then I can add this over here uh, which is to start with I'm going to have the scanner object I this is what I do I don't even think about what that this program is supposed to do I just keep on doing what I know I have to do in any case and when I'm doing that I'm thinking about how to uh, do this particular program uh, so uh, I've, I've done all of that now a message for the user I'm going to use print and I'm going to make this particular uh, uh, thing a little bit more um, fancy by just having a single print line uh, or actually in, in my case I'm going to have single print and I'm just going to now type it up actually I'm, I, I cut and paste and that didn't work very well uh, uh, let me just repeat this and the reason it didn't work very well was because I had too many um, 
indentations, right? So uh, let me just uh, get rid of those indentations. So this program uh, uh, prints volume of water, and that should be okay in increments of two. Please input the value of n. Then at the end, I'm going to say, so it's just a long um, a print statement uh, which says this program prints volume of water in a cylinder with radius and then there is a uh, enter sign of three meters for heights ranging from 10 to n meters and uh, then I have a um, uh, uh, enter in there I'm going to just get rid of that and I think the enter will look better over here so I'm just going to make a few minor adjustments to this particular uh, thing and then let's just see how this comes out um, uh, that also make sure that I'm saving this program no problems of course there's not much there so this program prints volume of water in a cylinder with radius whatever and then um, a radius of 3 meters for heights ranging from 10 to n meters in increments of 2 and then please input the value of n and uh, the reason it continued because I'm using print so it, the program is technically supposed to sit there looking for the value um, will be clear let me just uh, go back and edit this program now the next thing I'm supposed to do is get that value of n so I'm going to get that value of n from the keyboard it's called K in our uh, program so next int and there you go okay uh, then now I, I'm supposed to output the table now if you remember the table we had uh, some kind of um, horizontal line there you really don't have to count how many dashes you have there in the uh, exam uh, but for me of course I should uh, adjust this later on I'm not going to worry about it right now and I'm just going to say height which is going to be varying and then I'm going to have tab and I'm going to have one more tab so uh, I'm putting two tabs in between and then I'm going to have volume and that's it okay. right so that gives me header let's see if it does uh, in this particular case let me just compile this program no it doesn't because I have a whole bunch of errors there uh, obviously some kind of uh, double quote missing somewhere right here that should do it one never knows of course um, and then let's run that program so in this case it gives that information this program blah 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 waits for the input if I type the input as 32 or whatever uh, then it's giving me that um, uh, uh, that header nicely I still don't have the table going but you know at least the header is in place and fortunately as it turns out I had the right number of dashes uh, I don't know I mean generally my, my luck is not that good Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a for loop uh, and it says that we start uh, with heights ranging from 10. So my um, height, uh, I'll use H for height and it's going to start at 10 and then it is going to go up to and including N and that's H not I we have been using the variable i many times for the for loop but that was because we really didn't have any meaningful uh, name now we have height that is the one that's going to change so in, what we are saying is in my for loop I'm going to start with my h equal to 10 and I'm going to go from h to n 
Uh, now there is a little bit of error uh, in that particular statement. Uh, if I'm, I'm sure you might have spotted it already. Uh, we said that it's going to go in increments of two, but here what I have done is just h plus uh, plus. So in that particular case, um, it will be incremented by one. So I should really change that and make it go up by two, and that's how we do that. We will be of course looking at this program in great detail on the whiteboard. Right, so h plus equal to two is going to bump it up by two, and then I'm going to output uh, the volume. So in this particular case, I could just directly output it, uh, uh, but uh, I'm going to choose to uh, create a variable called volume, and then uh, its value will be um, pi r, r square. So we know the radius is three. Uh, so pi would be math dot pi, remember capital pi, um, and then uh, a radius is 3, so r square, uh, so we can say 3 multiplied by 3, or we could have directly said 9, and then multiply further uh, by uh, the height, which is h, and that keeps on changing. So the height will keep on changing. Now I could, uh, instead of saying 3 plus the three multiplied by three, I could, I'll just give you alternate value, alternate possibilities for this, right? Uh, so um, I could have uh, used a three multiplied by three, or I could have just done the calculations directly myself and use nine, or I can show off my knowledge. And actually in this particular case, you probably are seeing this for the first time. Um, Uh, I'm going to use a math function called pal that stands for power and then I'm going to say 3 comma 2 so that will give us um, a 3 to the power 2 uh, so there are three different ways and either one of them would be acceptable for this particular question I'm using power because just as, as an additional knowledge and then I'm going to output this and then I'm going to output the height, and then I'm going to output the volume uh, with two tabs in between. So let's save this particular program and let's see if it works. Compile it first, compile OK, then um, this program prints all that information, gets the value, so I'm going to say 32, and I'm getting the height and the volume. The only problem is it just goes on and on um, with the decimal places, as opposed to with Q, uh, when we ran that Q4, we had a lot better um, output. So 32, uh, it was... Uh, uh, like we had um, the decimal places nicely curtailed. So, you know, a lot of you may have this question, how do I control the number of decimal places? So I'm going to put both the programs up there. Let me just output q4.java. So you can compare the program that we developed where we use the print line statement. And instead of a print line statement now here, I'm using a printf statement which is little bit more complicated and I'm not going to uh, explain that in class uh, um, uh, those of you who are uh, in who, who are um, uh, dying to find out and are comfortable uh, in uh, escalating the complexity uh, of your outputs uh, can have a look at it and I'll be happy to explain it later on one on one um, uh, so here Actually, what I'm doing is percent %d means I'm printing an integer. Then I have two tabs. Percent point to %f means I'm going to print a, uh, a double or floating point number with two decimal places. And then I'm going to have new line at the end of that. And then we print the i and the volume. It's a, uh, it's a complicated output statement. And it's not uh, part of this particular course, as in you don't need to know this in for the exam. It's always nice to know things like this, but it's not needed for this particular course. 
right? So uh, you have the Q4.java. You also have the program that we just developed called Table um, Volume Cylinder.java, and you can compare those two if you uh, wish to find out a little bit more about this printf statement. So that's a fairly long broadcast, so I'm going to stop it. <laughs>